guys i have another what's in my bag video for you and today this is showcasing my favorite i would say this is like my weekend bag this is the bag that i use when i'm running errands when i'm just kind of going out and about this isn't the one that i would grab for work or if i'm going you know anywhere special this is just errands store maybe to the park i just like how light it is it is a cross body and now um, with the black bag, I typically wear these during the winter. So here it's still kind of cold. I probably will wear this for maybe like two more weeks before I switch out. But I just thought I'd share with you what I have been using, what I've been loving, and just kind of like my everyday carry within this bag. Now, surprisingly, look closely. You can see this is a beautiful pebbled black leather. Oh my gosh, it's so like rich feeling. It's so like deluxe. It's so durable. And I was surprised at how well this bag has held up. I know this is the very first time, I think, besides on my Instagram, but this is the first time I'm actually doing a video on it. But truth be told, I've had this bag for almost three years. So where did I, I think I got this at the, um, oh, was it in San Jose or was it? Phoenix. Oh, anyway, I've had it for a couple years. Yeah, like almost three years. And one thing that draws me in when it comes to black handbags are the gold hardware. It's a gold hardware. I'm a sucker for gold hardware. I just love gold in general. So I really thought this was so like chic looking with the little black leather gold chain what's nice is too this bag it can turn into if you want to wear it as um like a pouch or a, a, a wristlet because these are the, the strap handle is detachable which i really like and you can actually you can if you look closely you can see the wear right there <laughs> so i mean you know, this isn't real gold, but again, it's held up for three years. It, it, it goes to show how much I've used it. And no one really sees that side because it's kind of hidden by this little flap. But it came with this gold tag. And then if you want, you can actually, you know, carry this under your arm like that. Or you can remove this and then put it on the end. I'm going to prop my phone, um, or this camera, I should say, on a tripod so I can give you a better look. We'll take a, um, a peek inside the insides. But look, you can wear this like a, as a, not a wristlet, because it's kind of big. But if you need it to go to like a special event, and you want this bag to look a little bit more glam, then this could be an option for you. So as you can see, look at the leather. It's just so pebbly, so soft. I love a nice worn-in bag. Now, prior to that coach bag, this was my favorite everyday Blackberry, Blackberry, Black Carry bag. For my regular viewers, you guys know I love my Fossil Sydney satchel. I've been using this particular style for like over eight years now, and I, I've had them in like four different colors. So I still have my black one. I don't use this particular one as much just because I have been obsessed with using my black Madewell tote, which I showed as my work bag previously, um, and this olive tote. So if you'd like to see more What's My Bag videos, I'll link my whole playlist down below. But surprisingly, a lot of you guys really enjoy um, this segment here on this channel. So let me show you what I've been using in this Crossbody, I believe it's called the Coach Carry, the Coach Carry Crossbody. But prior to that, on Instagram, some of you guys may remember this. This was the Jess, the Jess Crossbody. And I really liked this because it had these two compartments. And during 2019, 2020, you know, when we weren't really going out as much, this is kind of what I would reach for just because. It could carry all of the essentials and whatnot. It does not come with this gold chain. I actually took this off of the Cassie crossbody that I had. And then I just wanted to accessorize it like this. But yeah, I love my black and gold hardware uh, type of bags here. But I'm going through a phase where I'm really liking smaller, slim bags. Um, 
I'm, I'm trying to challenge myself to only carry the necessities when I'm not at work because I do have a big trip coming up during the summer where I'll be gone for a couple months and I'm trying to experiment to see, can I just get by with a slim little sling bag or do I have to carry around a backpack or a tote? Hmm. But let me show you what I have been uh, carrying around lately. Okay, I have my tripod. Again, I'm trying to post this close to my bedroom window so you guys can see. Look at that pebbly beauty. Ugh, it's just so lush. 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 Lush and clutch. <laughs> oh, clutch. That's the word I was using, not wristlet. You could use this as like a clutch. Okay, so let me bring you in closer so we can take a look at all of my everyday carries in this little bag it opens up the mouth is pretty wide which my regular viewers you guys know i like a bag that can you know comfortably open up i don't have to it's not restricted so it's pretty comfortable i can kind of like get my hands in here um, if you love perfumes i'm about to show you my new favorite perfume i'm obsessed with okay so um and if you're my regular viewers if you're into like um, agendas and planners Stay tuned towards the end. I'll show you kind of what could fit in here if you are interested in something similar in this um, coach carry crossbody. So everyday carry, of course, naturally we have the phone, the cell phone. And then um, I guess I can take you through the different compartments. The way it looks, it just has one pocket. This uh, side pocket right here. I know it's hard to tell because this bag has the black interior. But in this little black pocket, it, this is, um, I don't even know, can I brighten my phone? There we go. Okay. Just have some gum. Uh, usually, these are kind of like the standard everyday carries, especially if you guys are uh, regular viewers of mine. My favorite lip gloss. I have been using this lip gloss for... <laughs> For years, I have more on the way, but you guys know I love a I what is the Neutrogena Moisture Shine Lip Soother. Okay, I love this lip gloss so much, and um, I feel like it beats some of like the name brand stuff. So and it moisturizes very well. It stays on for a long time. I have it on my nightstand. I pretty much have it like everywhere. Um, and then house keys. So that's pretty much what is inside this little pocket right here and the rest is just pretty much a general your open bag so I always have a little notebook with me you never know I like to jot down ideas random thoughts quotes things like that but with that being said I also have to always have a pen so I have I always have you know some type of writing tool with me um, when I stay at the hotel I always grab for those little freebies that they have on the, the nightstand. I see it as like souvenirs, but um, yeah, these are nice to have, especially if you find yourself in a situation where someone's like, hey, do you have an extra pen? I usually just give them like the little cheapy freebie. And then this I have been using for months now, I think for over a year. It's the Clinique Black Honey. And it is, what I like about this is that it is... um. It has a little color. It's like a tinted lip balm, but it's not as overpowering like a lipstick. So I like this for the winter right now. I've really been loving that. And I have like three of these. So yeah, I don't, I'm not really a lipstick type of gal. So that the lip balm works for me. Um, let me see what else. I was at where, where was I? I was at brunch and I saw this on um this was wrapped around our the utensils and I kept this weekends are for waffles. I'm gonna add this to my scrapbook. Okay, so here this is oh before I get into that, hold on, let me show you. Okay, that's pretty much it. So that's what this is what the inside looks like. Again, I know you can't really see much because it's pretty trying to zoom in here but you could see it, it kind of it fit quite a few items i could probably stuff it if i really tried let me just kind of throw this all in here kind of 
Okay. But again, I like to just kind of keep it light and compact and minimal. So here, uh, this is a new favorite. I've actually had this since my last Hawaii trip, but I haven't moved into it because I was enjoying my other, um, where was it? I had like a, a yellow leather Hawaii uh, wallet, but I moved into this one, this Louis Vuitton. Um, this was kind of like a little souvenir, but what drew me in, I mean, the salesperson really sold me on this one, but it's so cute because I like here on the front. It has the slot for coins. I mean, who uses coins still? But I do, especially when we go to those water jug machines. I use those for that. And then um, right here, this is where I keep like returns, gift cards, things like that that I need to kind of like spend. But um, you have room to kind of slip in cash if you wanted to. And then I like this top zipper because this is where my cash can go. And it's like secure. It goes all the way down right here. And then you just kind of um, ooh, open it up. It has a little key fob on it. If you wanted to attach it, but I never use those. So I have kind of big bills folded in one little pile or section um if some of you are wondering this is the interior i thought this was matching because it's like black and gold and then black and gold and then these are like the smaller bills so i like to keep them separated so i don't have to kind of like unfold both of them and then just keep this in here i use the cash if we're going to like farmer's market or when we you know visit places where we're tipping like the valet or things of that because i know people are like well, what do you use cash for and, you know there's still occasions when you're going to need cash and um lately i've found myself needing cash for various reasons so now i just kind of have extra and then in the back the the card holder so here is my license and then you have um technically like one two three four card slots so this is my wallet that I've been enjoying because it matches. It has like this pebbled, this pebbled um, look to it. I don't remember what this um, what this wallet was called. I'm sorry. I'm some of you Louis Vuitton experts. No, I'm not a Louis Vuitton expert. I don't know. Again, I just happened to see this passing by, and I really liked how slim and compact it was. We were looking in that store for a gift for someone else. And then the salesperson kind of sold me on this. So this is really, really cute. But if you know, comment down below because I know someone may be interested in it. But yeah, this is, that was so perfect for the pebbled, um, the pebbled pear. And again, I don't know if I'm going to use that during the summer because I typically like to use black or darker colors for the fall and the winter. As much as I love my black shoes, my black handbags, my black clothes, I love black notebooks. During the summer, I kind of want to like lighten, lighten up a little bit. This little pouch is just some type of little freebie. My mother-in-law, she gave me, it came like with a set that came like with the big one and the medium and the small and the mini. So I use this as my little toiletry bag. And um, in here, you know, just Feminine wipes, band-aid, just girly stuff that you never know that you're going to need. More, what do I have in here? What is, oh, um, hair tie. Let me just dump all this out. Nail file, hair tie, bobby pin, hair clip, just in case sometimes like <laughs> my hair gets in the way if I'm eating or like my bangs. Um, oh, I really like this. I got this in the Ipsy subscription box. I'm no longer subscribed, but I really like this uh, watermelon glow dew drop sample that I got because now with during the winter, I don't really use a lot of foundation regularly or compact powder. So I like this because it does, as the name says, it makes your skin look dewy and glowy. So, this works well. You only need like two or three drops and your face like radiates. It looks very, it has like that, 
I don't want to say like fresh out of the gym when your face is like glowing and sweaty, but kind of, you know, it has like a refreshed look, like it looks very fresh. And then um, I like this Cali, this Cali Ray mascara I get at Sephora. It's a special formula where it's not waterproof, but when you wipe your face and you clean it, it's easier to clean because sometimes with mascara, you know how it's like the black, you get like those black eyes and you have to wipe under your eye. It's like the, rac the raccoon, raccoon eyes. This is easier. So I, I really like this um, formula. It doesn't leave like those raccoon eyes at the end of the night. So I have a full size and I have a travel size for if I just forget to put on <laughs> makeup if I'm running out. But, um, oh, 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 okay. So I have, I think I showed this in my last What's in My Bag, this cranberry and dew. I liked it, but again, it was part of like an Ipsy subscription. So I'm not like raving about it because I don't know how much it is retail, but it, it did the job. However, I do keep these little travel size ramekins or her containers because I like to put in my own lotion. So in here, okay, this is, oh my gosh, this lotion is, um, oh, it smells so good. This lotion is from Trader Joe's. Let me grab it. It is there. Hold on, let me see. Let me grab it from my vanity along with some perfume here. It is this one. The Coconut Body Butter. Okay, I'm not a big coconut fan, but I, I can tolerate this. This smells really good. It has like that shea butter. It smells very like warm, very inviting. I smelled this on my coworker. Um, this was again back in 2000, 2019. He was wearing this and he was putting it on his hands and I was like, oh my gosh, what does that smell? And he got me hooked. It smelled so good on him. I wanted it. So I got this at Trader Joe's. I stocked up and I've been using this every year since 2019 during the winter fall season my instagram followers you guys may have seen this but um one typically will last me for i would say a month or two because i put this on after i shower at night and then i put this on um before you know i go anywhere during the day but there's a lot in here and it smells very Oh, it smells really, really good. So I kind of swipe some out and then I put it in here. And this is a perfect pair with my favorite perfume. Oh my gosh. If you guys are into scents, let me put you on to the scent that I've been loving. You may not be uh, new to it, but I certainly am new to it. And um, this scent, okay, this is what I've been carrying in here. I got this back in 2021. Let me see. It's called Essentials Perfume. Uh, that's the brand. Divine Vanilla. This smells so... Oh my gosh. So, so good. Okay, you guys. This scent paired with this lotion. Boom. It's like match made in heaven. Okay, I know we're doing a what's in my bag. But let me... <laughs> just rave about some perfumes real quick because during the winter and fall season I like to wear you know warmer um warmer scents I guess something like more like rich and inviting and just soothing and comforting oh, this divine vanilla this is the third no not the 30 the 10 mil and I think at the time I got this for like it was very budget friendly this whole thing yeah, I think it was like 20 dollars but the scent on this, it's like, the best way to describe this would be like vanilla. I think it's like, it's a smoky vanilla. It's very, not too deep. But it has like a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of like black pepper. Um, it, it, the note, it doesn't have tobacco, but it kind of slightly reminds me of like a lingering tobacco scent. It very sensual it has like a little bit of that cedar that musk patchouli so if this is kind of like your thing you may like this i mean you could see i'm like almost out i wear this sparingly because i literally only need like one or two sprays and it will last me all day now this is what i carry like as my backup so i will um you know i will keep this in here if i all of a sudden need to freshen up or if i had forgot to put perfume on that day which is rare but you know this is still what i have as my backup but, um, prior to this, okay, because I got this two years ago, prior to this, I was, let me grab this from my vanity, 
This was, this is my girl, the Guerlain, Mon Guerlain. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love, yeah, the Mon Guerlain, the 30 mil. Oh my gosh, let me smell this. I discovered this because I was looking for a travel size version of this. They don't make a travel size. I think I got like the smallest one. This retails for like, ooh, like $90. You can see I use a lot of it, but this isn't this isn't your everyday type of perfume. This is, you know, you're going on a date, you're going out to dinner, you're going to like a nice, you know, fall wedding. It's a special occasion. You could wear this in the office, but you definitely want to be careful because it's very strong. You're definitely going to turn heads. So like one spray is literally all you need to last you all day. You may not think, you know, it's projecting. You may not think it smells and it's as powerful, but it is. It's so strong. And my coworker actually turned me on to this, um, back in, yeah, I think like 2018, 2019, she was wearing it and I was literally following her around. I was like, what are you wearing? And it was this. So she turned me on to the, uh, Guerlain brand. Oh my gosh. Again, these two perfect match, but if you're not familiar with this scent, it is, um, it's, it, let me see. It reminds me, the best way to describe it is a very classy French vanilla bean lavender scent, okay? Now the lavender, the lavender is not your like um, body soap lavender, okay? This is like a rich, <laughs> classy, um, deep caramel sandalwood type of lavender blend, Oh my gosh, I love this. You know, funny story, not to make this video too long. I had already purchased this um, perfume, okay? And I was at a department store and this lady smelled so good. She was walking up and down through the aisles at the, I think it was like the shoe aisle. I literally, like I, I didn't want to look crazy, but I like followed her throughout the store to make sure it was her. And I had to ask her, I was like, excuse me, what are you wearing? I can smell you throughout the store and it smells so divine. And she's like, oh, it's Mon Guerlain. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? Because I had it. And, you know, perfume smells different on other people. But, and when you wear it, it could smell good, but you don't realize how good it smells until someone else, you know, someone else has to smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells so just divine on her. So this is my favorite perfume during the winter. This is what I've been wearing. But again, they don't make a travel size. So... Um, I did some research and I found this was pretty, um, this was pretty similar with that creamy, you know, vanilla kind of top note, but let me put you on to my new everyday perfume before we wrap up this video. Okay. This one, a girlfriend of mine introduced me to the cut, the Kaali perfume brand. This is my first time buying a Kaali brand and I wanted something for the winter and she was like oh well if you love Mon Guerlain you'll probably like the Kaali vanilla royale the sugared patchouli and I was like oh really because she's like oh that's travel size you could try it out and it's more you know it's budget friendly so you can um use it on your travels you can go through it quicker than maybe this one because again this is $90 I'm trying to use this sparingly so yeah this was like $25 um Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. I just got this a month ago and I already have like a big dent. Oh my gosh, you could probably wear this, I would say in the office, but again, one spray. Like all of these perfumes, all of these perfumes, one sprayers, okay? I'm telling you, one sprayers, mix it or what you could do sometimes, you can put the lotion, like grab some lotion, put it in your hand and then like put like maybe like one or two sprays in it and mix it and then put it all over your body that's what i've done sometimes too um but this the notes on here let me hold on. oh my gosh this is just it reminds me the dry down on this is so good like literally i was surprised at how long this lasts like this lasts long this lasts long um but this i could literally to still smell this on me i think like after five years or five hours or so i don't really smell this on me but you know like my family um, my husband my friends are like no i can still smell it but this i can still smell this on myself like eight plus hours later this 
has, um, I'm trying to, I think the notes, it's pretty similar because my friend was saying that it's really like reminiscent of the Guerlain, like vanilla, and I could see it. It does, I think that's why I love these two so much because it reminds me of this one right here. This is like a rich French pastry that it's like a mature dessert. It's like a rich cream brulee. I can't really describe it. <laughs> You'll just have to Google it and read uh, the notes, but it's not like a cupcake or like a cookie. Okay, because I don't like sweet, sweet vanilla where it smells almost, um, where it smells almost like mm, younger, you know? This is like a mature, but not too old ladyish, not too powdery, not too musky. It's like a perfect blend. The perfect, like, rich vanilla. Mmm. It's like a decadent slice of creme brulee that you're paying $20 a plate at a French upscale Michelin restaurant, okay? It's very warm. It's very sweet. Um, there's, like, a little bit of, like, sh yeah, like, sugar, rum, vanilla, just all the good stuff. These, all of these three scents are very seduct seductive. So I would say if you can splurge on this because you're definitely going to smell like, you know, you treat yourself well. Like this is, this is <laughs> really, really good. But these are great budget alternatives. This one's, I would say like the least um, feminine smelling. Not that it's masculine, but again, it has more of that smoky under that undertone. But all of them are long lasting. This is a great alternative to, to this minus the lavender so anyway i'm just wanted to put you guys on real quick that video was long how did this turn into a fragrance video i don't know but um i will share with you my favorite spring scents that i'm already uh what is this oh i forgot oh i forgot this was in here okay so another thing too i like to order samples and carry them with me this is the homage guidance i forgot the notes on this this is so strong, but it smells so, so good. I'm trying to remember. Okay, this is, you guys, this scent, this is really, really strong. Like, do not spray more than one because you might get a headache, but it smells so good. It's like a very woody, amber, like warm, floral, nutty scent. It smells very exotic, okay? It's not vanilla-ish like this. This smells like... This smells like like an exotic scent. Definitely not something you can just find at your average like department store. I got this on their main website because again, my, my girlfriend, she introduced this to me. So I was like, well, let me get a little sample. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this for the summer because it's kind of like in between. Like you could wear it during the winter, but it's like it's something you would wear now where it's almost spring, but it's still kind of cold. But again, literally one spray. So that's what I have here. And that is pretty much everything that fit in this bag. Again, if you are interested in this, it is the um, the carry, the, the coach carry crossbody. I don't think they make this anymore. So, but I just want to share with you some of my favorite fragrances and what I carry. And I am just gravitating towards slimmer profile bags. I don't know, I'm just going through this phase. But this part is for my planner and notebook um, viewers, if you guys love to carry some type of notebook with you, um, you guys know that I have been raving about my pen and gear. Okay. So if you like to carry like a spiral bound notebook, this is similar to like an ace, a six size. This could fit in here. And I am still, you guys, I have a custom order coming, a custom cover coming in for my Hobonichi Weeks. If you're not familiar with the Hobonichi Weeks, it, um, it's a Japanese brand uh, notebook. I like it because I think for like $25, you get like your monthly spread. And then you also have your weekly spread here on the left, aside for notes. And then in the back, it has like extra pages for you know, entries, notes, and scribble scrabbles and whatnot. But I have a cover on the way and I'm so excited for it. But in the past, I've kind of like made my own covers. 
with the um, clear cover and then I got some Velcro and I stuck it here to close it. So this one is really popular. I was showing this on Instagram and I got my own patches. It got some like stickers on here and then I put the clear cover on top so that way they wouldn't come off. But um, yeah, this is so cute. And again, these little Velcro dots you can get at your local craft store or Amazon. But the cover itself, like it comes, okay, it comes like this, okay? It's, I think it's meant to be like a bookmark. So you put it in like as a, um, like as a placeholder, but I use it as a closure. So you can just peel this part off. You put the little Velcro sticker on here and then you put the other one right there. So yeah, this is something I just, I love the Hobonichi Weeks. I love how like light and compact it is. I've been using these since like, mm, like 2000, 2016. So I'm excited to jump in again well i have already been using this as a memory keeper i'll go into more details in my lineup but the hobonichi weeks yes it could fit okay it could fit in here and then if you are into rings which i am again you guys i've been going through like this shift okay it's like i am liking things small slim and compact so i have been obsessed with like smaller handbags I have been obsessed with like smaller like travel size stuff like more EDC things and then like you know slimmer profile mm, what's it called like planners because you guys remember I had like my Nolte so yeah and then um this is a, a pocket ring a pocket ring like a what's it called <laughs> a pocket ring agenda there we go so I'm still kind of working on uh on the setup here but if you are in, this could be like a Filofax, similar to like a Filofax or like maybe like a Moterm or something like that, that could fit in here as well. This brand is a uh, Giglio. It's their Giglio XL pocket in the 20 millimeter uh, rings. But yeah, so that could fit. And oh my gosh, I think that's it. I think that is it, you guys. Enough of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this what's in my bag and pretty much my perfume <laughs> review. And I'll see you guys in the next one.